Hey there guys, back of round one. We're going first this time. Okay, this uh, turn three Thermocross, not the best, but not the worst. I could have a better hand. Okay, this is a better hand. Four lands, I'll put one of them back. I can Seder Wayfinder on turn two and then have enough mana for... How much is this guy even? Okay, six mana. Yeah, let's put one of those on the bottom. Doesn't matter which land I put on the bottom, so we're just going to put one of them. Uh, let's go ahead and play a land. Put the Utopia Sprawl to it. Make green. Okay. And, uh, oh, the person I'm going up against is uh, Salamander Anagram. Salamander Anagram. Anagram. And I'm going up against Tron, so <laughs> this land destruction is really going to mess with them. Okay. I feel bad for them. Because this is not going to be fun. Chimera is two or three? Three. Okay, so I can't play the Chimera yet. So that's unfortunate that I drew a land. I don't need another land. Oh, I already have two pieces of Tron. Okay. Uh, not another land. Okay. I could play this, but I want to play it for value. So we'll just punch him for one. And call it a turn. Okay. Let's hope that we get some better damage or some better uh, plays. Because being able to destroy one of their lands would be nice, but I have to wait two more turns for that. What can I draw to make me be able to play the Mold Shambler next turn? Nothing. Okay. That's fun. I didn't play the other piece of Tron. Find interesting. Oh, I can uh, bring back a Loathsome Chimera, though. A forest. Some Chimera. Whoa, pay five mana. Oh, it is five mana. I thought it was three. Okay. Oh no, it's to play it from hand is three. Okay. Sorry, guys. New cards. Okay, what are you playing? Impulse. Okay, fine. That's fine. As long as he doesn't find a or power plant mine. As long as he doesn't find the Urza's mine, we should be okay. Although I don't know why you'd grab the Cave of Temptation unless you had the mine. There it is. There's the mine. Okay. It's eight mana. He could play a Crusher right now if he wanted to. But he's not playing anything. Okay. That's with Kicker. Just pull up one of their lands. Tower. Oh, uh, Prohibit. Oh, uh, condescend. Okay. Oh, you could have condescended for one, you know. That was a little obsessive, but I mean. Oh well, your prerogative. That mold shambler was my one land blow up spell in my hand, though, so that's very unfortunate. Let's just hit him for two. We'll call it good. I think I'll take out the Entourage of Trust and put in some more land destruction if I have any on my sideboard. I can check my sideboard right now. Um, Lethal Sabotage might help. Maybe two of those instead of the Entourage of Trust. Now, I like the draw engine. I think I'll keep hold of that. Okay. Our land. Ah, oh, it's a land. Hey, okay, Loathsome Chimera. Go use the mana, wild growth, forest, get rid of the utopia sprawl. Oh, those three doesn't. Okay, you gonna counter it? I have two more mana. There we go, two more damage. Next turn will be seven, so they have two more turns. Depending on what they play. Another impulse? Running, running multiple copies of Impulse, okay. I've only seen them play blue cards so far, though. Are they mono blue Tron? Oh, right. Impulse you don't have to show. <laughs> Another Impulse, okay. <laughs> That's funny. 
Okay, let's see. Passed their turn. Pet my cat. Okay. And uh, then uh, skip my next combat. That's not fun. Okay. Not a land. It's not a land. The Wayfinder. Find me a way. Get the. Mold Shambler, the Mold Shambler, and the Acid. Can't attack, so we just end the turn, I guess. I guess. Hope he doesn't have a Flicker spell. Flicker spells are not fun to deal with. And we swing all out next turn if he doesn't have a Flicker. Okay. It's almost seven cards in hand, though. That's reassuring. Not reassuring. Terry, okay. Doesn't even need to flicker it. Never mind. Okay, not a land. That is not a land. Let us destroy the tower. It has three mana, so it's not enough to counter it. He just has a straight up counter spell. Ghostly flicker. Dang it. Okay. Okay. Well, we made him waste a ghostly flicker, so that's good. The only, the only thing is now that he now he can start flickering his guys. Because he's drawn so many cards, he's got to have a flicker spell at some point. Like that one ghostly flicker he's already had. That feels like a mole drifter. Yep, it was a mole drifter. Oh, it replaces itself and then it gives you an extra card. Mole drifter so good. Okay, see if mono green can beat down this thing. Highly doubtful because even if I draw another kill spell for their lands, they can just bounce it. There's a high likelihood with how much that they have in their hand. But they have to hold up the rest of their mana to do it, so they need to discard a card at end of turn. Okay, they're not doing it. Ephemerate. Oh, they ephemerated the Mole Drifter. So I'll get a combat next turn. But now they have nine cards in hand. Hmm. Okay, position map. Oh, spend all your mana. Do it. Yes. Thank you. It only has one mana. Kill spell. Not a kill spell. Arbor Elf. Okay. Go to combat, attack with everything. Heal through this turn. Because if they block the 1-1s, one then I can just hit them for 10 damage. That brings them to close to dead. Yep, they're blocking the 1-1s. One oh, there we go. 6 damage. Not bad. I'm good with that. Uh, I should have waited an extra turn. Waited a, Well, I shouldn't have yielded all the way through because I could have replayed the Loathsome Chimera. But right now I only have one Chimera now, so... Yeah. The escape is very nice for... Uh, just say, like, escape and then... The number like escape number and that's how many you have to exile okay what are they playing canonic wall no that's game okay i gotta concede and go to game two because then they can just start skipping all my combat steps and there's nothing i can do about that okay how to deal with their creatures bringing all these i guess Get rid of the two entourage. We'll get rid of crushers. No, crusher's nice. I'll keep two of those. Um, what else to get rid of? Nothing. I'll get rid of a chimera and a typhon. There. 
Now at least we have some way to get rid of creatures, even though they can be flickered at any moment. That's, I just realized that's a terrible idea. Yeah, I'll go first. Copia Sprawl, Elf, 4, that means Thermal Cross in turn 2. Okay, I'm fine with this. So then we Utopia Sprawl on the next turn, and then the turn after that I can play Thermal Cost. Go through their turn. Okay, another land. Tap, tap, destroy. Who's the man? Go. Now this turn I can tap two, four, five, six. That. This deck is just evil, man. Yeah, they had to concede. There's just got rid of both of their lands. Usually people keep a hand with two lands, so if you destroy two of their lands, they're kind of set back quite a bit. I just had the best hand I could possibly have there. Man. Okay. Arbor Elf. Nothing else though. No turn two plays. So we go... Oh, this is beautiful. Okay. We'll keep one of the forest around and that should just be it. Okay, you for the turn. Forest. Utopia Sprawl. Green. Field of turn. Uh, it would have been better to play the Arbor Elf actually first. Field of the turn. If I would have played the Arbor Elf first, I could have, uh, what's it called? I could have untapped on my next turn to make more mana. Oh well. Something I just learned about the deck. This is actually only my second time playing the deck outside outside of this match. This is game two. Their turn. Their forest. Thermal Crossed. And tap this. These two play this. Go through the turn. Four, 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 four mana at common is just so good. Okay. Wayfinder. Bring them down to 16, guys. Come on. Thank you. Gracious Typhon is 4, right? Okay. I need another card in my graveyard. Another Arbor Elf. Need it exactly, but it works. Creatures. Oh. Moments peace. Mystical teachings. Okay. Six damage, bring them down to ten. So they grab. Ultima Rasa. Okay. So they can grab back their other land. Okay. Smart move, man. Smart move. You'll take your whole next turn to do it though. But he'll gain six life back, so it will basically negate this attack. Okay. I can see the merits of using that move. Now they're taking the next turn, they'll be taking seven damage if I swing with everything. Unless one of my guys die. 
I'm actually hoping somebody dies so I can bring back the Typhon as a 7-7. Seven, 7-7, seven. Seven, seven is really good. Okay, and then that's their whole turn. Mold Shambler. Land. Yeah. I'm only running 18 of you. Why are there so many? Drawing a third of my lands already. Okay, they don't go down to nine. Next turn they go down to two. Because there's no hasty boys in this deck, unfortunately. It'd be very nice if there was. <sighs> no combat, really? Not another land. Don't need those. I want to just slam one of my Wayfinders into that Stonehorn Dignitary so I can just play, some, play this Voracious Typhon out my graveyard. Don't be a... Another forest. Go through the turn. Hate getting stalled out. Also, Marasa really saved them. See what else they got to play for me. Back. some chimera he counters it no good back with all my creatures because I'm about to play a 7-7 seven, seven for 7 mana fine with that Perfectly fine with that. They could, uh, on descend? Nope, they didn't. Liquor spell? Why both of them? Hmm. Okay. Okay. But I'm not cool. Oh no, Denroven Horror. <clears throat> losing my 7-7. Seven, seven. I guarantee it. No, oh, I'm losing my land. Okay, I'm fine with that. I have 7 mana left, man. I can play every card in my deck with this, except for one. Now I can play every card in my deck. Okay, uh, let's see. So what do we got? We got Ulamog's Crusher in the deck that costs this much. If I get a Mold Shambler, I might be okay. Uh, but it's not likely. Up in the wall. They can get the Ghostly Flicker back and then Flicker the wall and the Denroven Horror. Might be able to beat it. Okay. It all depends on what they throw back. They throw back that. Okay, I can just swing off a 4-4 four, four and a... Uh, well, two 4-4s four, and a 4-1, and then I can just bring this back. Okay. Wouldn't be too bad. Let's do combat first. Let's do combat first. I didn't get a combat. Never mind. Okay, we'll destroy their tower. Cut off their mana supply. Then yield through the turn. <laughs> I forgot I didn't have a combat. I didn't. They stack? That's annoying. Okay. Cut them off of their mana. They play the big beefy boy. Which, I'm going to send it for all I care. I'll just play a Typhon next turn.
know you have a flicker spell in your hand, so you can just return it and I'll discard it, but I don't care at this point. iPhone in the Chimera. You can't let either of them through. You have to block both of them, which means you're going to lose something. Whoa. Oh, flicker. Right. You can just flicker. Dang it. Got all about that. Forgot all about the flicker. That's unfortunate. I am locked down now. Plus, I can attack of multiple creatures a turn. I am locked down. Okay, so the game's not over yet, or it could be over right now. I don't know the board state well enough, but I can hopefully hold on to this enough. Pressure the acid. On the wall. Okay. Just throw a wall of growth on one of these things, it doesn't matter. And end. Link the Typhon back and make me discard it. I need to be able to play two creatures a turn, is my problem. I can't, so I just concede. Sorry, guys. But there's not really much you can do against Tron once they get that flicker in. Uh, even destroying their land wouldn't have done me any good because they still have enough mana to do it. The only thing I probably, only thing I possibly could have done is if I would have had a way to kill the Dunrovin Horror, which I don't have any efficient way to kill it. I don't have any way actually to just kill it. So we just had to concede there. I'm sorry guys, but if you want to see more decks like this, please support me on Patreon. Like I have, I think I have one person supporting me on Patreon, and I use a little bit of that money to buy parts of this deck so if you want to see me play more decks like this and have well fun i mean i enjoy this deck in my free time if you guys enjoy it maybe i can make more videos as i update it take it from the level that uh methodical had it at and then maybe make it a little bit better i mean this was a 28th place deck but i believe that it could be higher just because mono green land land destruction not the best, not the worst. I put it somewhere around the middle. So if you have a way to just kill something, if I could maybe put some creature destruction, oh, some creature destruction in it, maybe it'd be a little bit better. Green doesn't have much creature removal though, so I'll have to look into it a little bit. But that's what I'm going to look into between this and the next time that I show this deck, if I do show it again, if y'all want to see it. Uh, but again, support on Patreon really helps. Uh, subscribing on YouTube really helps. Commenting, letting me know what y'all think about this deck really helps. Just any sort of interaction between me and you guys is kind of really nice for me because it's something, this is something I like doing. I like playing Magic the Gathering online and I like sharing new things with people. So if you all enjoyed this, please like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you all later. Y'all have a wonderful night. Bye.